I started with a crazy wild idea. I didn't have any money, but I started with a wild idea. And my friend that teaches at the Eastman School of Music and I said, okay, let's try this. I got a guy here in town to make a prototype. That started working well. And then people would hear about it and they'd say, oh, I want one of these machines. It's a machine that oboe players use, double reed players, oboes, singers, horn, bassoon players use to make reeds. And essentially, we take what natives, we natives would know as old fishing pole cane and cut it into lengths, split it into three sections, cut it to a length, and the machine I make cuts the inside out. And it has to be accurate to less than one one hundredth of a millimeter. It takes about 2.2 hundredths of a millimeter to equal a thousandth of an inch. So we have to have really high accuracy and, and that has to be in a piece of wet wood. But then after you do that, it has to be turned into a reed and that's all done by hand. The machines are all over the world. The difference is what you do with it after you gouge it, which comes out to be a straight piece about 75 millimeters long. And then it has to be folded over and shaped and there are all kinds of different shapers. And then it's how you cut the reed after that that gives it the different sound. There are different styles of making reeds. Europeans make reeds one style, they have one concept of sound, and Americans have a different concept. I don't want to retire. I mean, when I go do classes, now this may sound stupid to you, but I explain to students, uh, do whatever you'll enjoy. And I said, you know, 2000, 2001, I had colon cancer, I had surgery, I had eight months of chemo, and at the end of all that, the first day of class, fall of 2001, chemo doctor called me in. First words out of his mouth, you're not gonna make it. A year and a half, two years at absolute best. And my first thought then was, boy, it's been a quick trip. But my next thought was, that's okay, I'm still the luckiest person in the world because I've got to do in life exactly what I love the most. Not many people can say that. I love what I do.